this, 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 Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? It's your boy Elbow. Man, I already know y'all like, man, it's been forever since I did a video, but um, just been having a lot of stuff going on. Finished Sean Rocker album, been promoting this album, pushed it out there. If y'all ain't got it, go get it. Um, but I'm finna get back on it, man. Finna start, you know, knocking out more tutorials. Um, uh, just chilling. I'm finna start a new uh YouTube channel called In Session, uh, Elbow Lab. You know, we really gonna just be you know, just letting y'all kind of take a look into what I'm doing and check out how I mix and, and some different things. Today, I want to show y'all how to do this uh, this automation where you work with the sins inside of Record. Uh, you know, it was kind of funny for me when I first started trying to use it, you know, uh, just took some time for me to kind of understand what was going on with the program. Uh, and then I was able to figure it out. And I was like, man, I know it's a lot of people out there that's trying to figure out how to use their sins and make it automate and you know use those effects within their song but not have it go all the way through the track uh, whenever they putting it on the vocals or a sound or whatever so here's a quick crash course on how to use your sins and make them automate and only use them in certain parts of the song this is a song me and my homeboy reed did we working on a mixtape and uh it's called um clever don't trip on the song name up here uh that's the name of the track. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to let you check it out, and then I'm going to show you the automation uh, inside of it. And right here is where the automation lives. So let me let you check that out. All right. All right. Here we go. Nigga, I'm bipolar, out in the arty, opposite of dumb, nemesis too retarded, you are refurbished, nigga, so regardless, how hard you try, you would never be the hardest. Alright, now right there, I know y'all heard the echo inside of it, uh, right there, this is where that automation lives, and, and, you know, it's real simple to do. You know, I know a lot of people are like, man, how you do that? You know, it's real simple to do. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead on and delete this automation. Uh, there we go. All right. <clears throat> now, it's been deleted. This is the track, uh, track nine. I mean, track one uh, that I, I did my vocals on. And I'm going to, all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm a little rusty too, so y'all don't trip. Uh, but I got to get back into the to the motion. But anyway, uh, and then um, I'm a right click and I cl I clicked on uh, parameter anim animation, and I'm gonna click on four because that's where the echo lives inside of the mixer. And if you go up to the mixer, you'll see that four is my delay. Okay, now. Normally, when you start this, it will not be lit, so you have to actually activate the effect uh, in order for it to be able to use in the automation. So, uh, I have it here. So, what you do is you go up to the pen tool or to the draw tool. You draw out the area where you want to automate. You know, that's that's my entire verse. And then, after you do that, go back up to the arrow, double click on it. That's double left click. Go back to your pen tool. And then you can just draw in the automation. So if I and what you need to remember is if this is zero at the bottom here and up top is 100, that means it's going to 100 is the volume level. How much that automation is going to give out, you know, whenever it hits that that area. So if I click here and then I click here. And then I click here. I just told automation to give me a hundred at this point inside of my vocal. Okay. Now I'm just going to go through here and just kind of draw a few of them out. I don't even know where they're going, but that that's not the point I'm trying to make here. The point I'm trying to make is I just want to show you how to to automate your your uh, your scent effect inside of your your vocal. So I'm gonna go back to the arrow, and then we can push play, 
and then I can kind of show you where it's at. I don't know where it's at exactly, but we'll see. Here we go. I'm bipolar, out in the Arctic, opposite of dumb, nemesis to retarded. You are refurbished, nigga, so regardless, how hard Okay, and you notice, you notice how whenever I put that in there, it, it the, the more I stretch this out, the longer it's going to carry out. If I put this here, that's how long it's gonna last. Let's do it again. Bipolar, out in the Arctic, opposite of dumb, nemesis to retarded. You are refurbished, nigga, so regardless. How hard you try, you would never be the hardest. So you can think of this as a fade. Uh, whenever you, however much you spread them apart, that's how much it's gonna fade. If you wanted to just be real quick, you know, you wanna tighten these up. And then when you play it, it'll just play that Dumb. one. Nemesis one to retard it. You are refurbished, nigga. So regardless. Now you notice that when I tighten it up, it just it singled out one word or two words. And then um, you know, you're able to tighten it up, but you can actually you know, you can move these around, you can bring them up, you can have it fade longer, fade shorter, you know, however you want to do it, you know, but this is a great tool. Um, it's awesome because you can use it on sounds as well, not just on on vocals. And you know you can do that with all of your your sins. So uh, as you can see, I just did it with with uh, the delay. But you can actually go in and add. You know you can go in and add new sins and uh, add new effects. And then you can affect the track. You can change the track. You can manipulate the track. I mean, it's a lot of things you can do with recording. You can do with the mixer. You know, it just takes a little bit of uh, experimenting and and uh, trial and error, and uh, you know, you'll be able to get what you need out of the program. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, hope that helped y'all out. Uh, remember, I'm gonna do the in session deal. So. Uh, I don't know how much talking I'm going to be doing in that. It's really just going to be about me just kind of running through and, and doing some mixes and working on some projects. And I'm just going to involve my, my subscribers uh, in that lengthy process. Hopefully, you know, during the process, people can learn something, you know, and get their projects tightened up because it's all about knowledge. Knowledge is the key. Your boy Elbow checking out, man. Hey, don't forget to go to the website. Don't forget to cop the album. Support the team. And I appreciate all the comments I've been getting for those people that I haven't been replying to. I apologize. Uh, it's just I get a lot of emails and I got a lot of stuff going on. I can't reply to every email, but I will try to do some videos for you guys that are uh, stuck in, in your projects and you need some help. All right. All right, man. Y'all have a good one.